uh, give thanks the trainer of Natalie's Forley. He's had a lot of sick horses this year, and indeed Natalie's Forley having um, started the year well by winning first time out at Nace afterwards. Uh, lost her form and uh, I think went down with the virus as did so many of our stable companions. And now a quick look at the betting as the last few go in in just a moment. Just gone in there is Sally Brown. That Sally Brown got into the stalls. Ali Dow's best going up now. There's a look at the betting. 5-2 to two to Bayern. 11-4 to four Sally Brown backed in from 4-1. to one. Helen Street from 7-2 to two to 3-1. to one. Ali Dar's best on four to one. Fair of the first, 12 to one down to 15 to two. And the four outsiders all uh, have receded in pace one with the other from 50 to one out to 100 to one. The last has been installed, Daffodils Walk. And now they're in the stalls, a mile and a half to go, and they're off. And Fair is the first is the first to break the line, and Sally Brown well there along the inside. And back at the end of the field at this stage is Dubayan as they settle down now and it's fair as the first who's in the lead and up on the outside is sally brown and after that in along the inside is keep the faith and then the pace is steady one not anybody going help for leather or anything like that but fair of the furs is showing the way then sally brown keep the faith comes next and after that ali does best and after ali does best is Natalie's Forley, and after Natalie's Forley comes Helen Street as they stretch out on the very far side of the curra now, and it's almost an Indian file oaks as Fair of the Furs is in the lead. Sally Brown is in second, and after that, in third place comes Keep the Faith. Keep the Faith being followed by Ali Dar's Best. After Ali Dar's Best comes to Bayern, who's made up a little bit of ground there, and Daffodil Walk on the outside, and on the inside of Daffodil Walk comes Helen Street and these are the leaders as they go up the hill now with seven furlongs to race. Passing the seven furlongs and it is fair as the furs in the lead. Sally Brown is next. Keep the Faith is next. Adidas best and Daffodils Hill and Dubayan, a Daffodil Walk and Dubayan making a bit of ground behind these now is uh, Hen uh, Helen Street up on the top of the hill now and beginning to come down with less than five furlongs to race. It is still fair as the furs. Sally Brown is next, still holding his place up there, and in prominent position is uh, Keep the Faith. And now down the hill they come, and that is the leader still, fair as the furs. And after that is Sally Brown. Dubayan, Ali Dar's best with the white star on the outside. Dubayan in on the inside. Daffodil Walk not far behind. Keep the Faith in along the rails. And now as they enter the straight with less than three furlongs to go, it is fair is the furs on the inside of Sally Brown. And challenging on the outside is Ali Dar's best. And these three now being chased by Dubayan. Helen Street making ground on the outside. And as they race now with a furlong and a half to go, it's Dubayan in the center being challenged by Ali Dar. Ali Dar up there and now it is Hen Helen Street who's taken it over. Helen Street and Ali Dar's best. These two together now as they race down with less than a furlong to go. And there she goes. Another Oaks win for the Hearn Stable. And it is Helen Street the winner. Ali Dar's best is second. It's close for the third between Dubayan who may have just missed the third place in a photo with Sally Brown and also in the photo for the third place is the always prominent Fair of the Furs. And so Willie Carson has written his fourth winner of an Irish Oaks. The third winner in the last 25 years for Major Dick Hearn, whose stable has certainly turned round in earnest. And this was a victory achieved with the coolness and the confidence that is typical of Willie Carson. It looked for a while as if Ali Dar's best was going to uh, win. But let's have a look at that race again in the straight any one of about five or six of them tony fair is the first on the inside sally brown with the white sleeves the white star on the outside is alidar's best and way back now in sixth place is helen street but fair is the first who's been out in front all the way is sticking on well to her task as uh, alidar's best and sally brown try to take the lead off her sally brown is the first one obviously to find a shortage of speed here but on the outside you can now see that helen street and Willie Carson, a typically uh, gutsy performance by rider and horse as they quicken very fast on the outside. She's not bothered by this softened ground. Ali Dar's best runs on well to confirm uh, pretty poly placings with Fair of the Furs. Uh, and uh, Dubayan has also made progress behind them to try to get into it. But uh, 
out in front. There's no doubt about what has won this race, even though there's still 150 yards to go. Helen Street, the filly that ran so well against uh, Oh So Sharp in the Hoover Mile at Ascot last year, she has refound that form. She's refound the form that enabled her to set a course record at Yeovil, and she's won this Giltown Stud. I